Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys our 2023 budget overview, how I use it, why I use it, and also a little bit about of my budget prep throughout the year. Not necessarily creating our budgets for the, for the entire year per month, but to kind of just show you how I've prepped along the way. Um, so how I use our, our annual budget overview. So this is a yearly budget overview by weekly breakdown since we do get paid bi-weekly. Um, the reason why I started to do this was just so I can plan ahead and see what our potential savings will be. Also to also see what months, there's certain months where I need to make sure, or not just months, but certain paychecks where um, I need to save a little bit from that paycheck to make sure we cover the expenses for the next one because of just how the dates and timing is with our bills. Uh, we don't get paid on set dates. We get paid bi-weekly every other Friday. So the dates sometimes kind of shift. Um, so that's kind of just how we've been budgeting is just by paycheck. It's also not a specific like just from the 1st to the 15th or and then from the 16th to the 30th. The dates do vary as you guys will see. I'm going to be showing a breakdown of how everything is. And there is also certain months where we get paid three paychecks or there, there'll be certain months where there'll be a three paycheck budget. So how this is all laid out. I do have a little section over here with kind of my why and intention for this year. Minimalism is kind of my year or my word for this year. Not necessarily to be a min minimalist like in every single thing, but for sure with consuming less so that we can save more. Because last year, I feel like we spent a little bit more on things that we ended up not even using, we ended up returning, donating. I just want to be really mindful with what we bring into our home and how we spend our money. So that's kind of my my word for the year. And I also made a note over here about our potential savings for the year just so I can always see it. So before I you know, want to splurge or buy anything for our house, which is a majority of the things that we spent last year was me revamping our home and kind of dipping into our home savings for that so that we don't, you know, break our budget or anything. So we kind of revamped our home a little bit, um, upgrading certain things um, that's been broken and just finding storage solutions and stuff. And I can go in a rabbit hole with when it comes to storage things and, um, all that stuff so but anyways let me show you a breakdown of how this layout or how this is set up the top part over here is where I have everything has formulas here so income savings our fixed expenses variable expenses seasonal expenses which is all the annual things um, or semi-annual uh, and then extra debt payments. And then down here is our net potential savings. So everything up here is all tied into these sections here. So I have income, our fixed expenses, uh, variable expenses, savings, extra debt payments, and then seasonal expenses here. So when I map this out, I think I was, um, I was up one night in December and I knocked this out. Um, I couldn't sleep. I really wanted to know how much we could potentially save. And sometimes that kind of keeps me up at night, which is kind of weird that now I'm up at night trying to figure out how much we can save versus I remember not too long ago, I was up all night trying to figure out how we can pay off all of our debt um, and how we can just stay up, af stay afloat. So kind of nice to be able to think about be thinking about savings versus paying off our debt. I usually have the things that are planned out in blue and then as I update our budget, um, so as I close out our budget, then I will highlight it in black or change the font color to black. Um, but I pretty much have for the entire year, all of our bills, um, all of our expenses, all on here and then I will go in and update it as I go and again the reason for that is I just want to be able to see how much we can save and how much from certain paychecks need to be rolled over to the next and then for our variable spending this one is always going to change it's not going to always be the exact same amount but I do have the amounts that we would like to stay within because last year we did spend a lot of money on food, especially during the summertime. And I think I did adjust that here in the budget to account for the busyness of 
the summer and like activities i think just last year my son was in two sports we had a lot of stuff going on with family and stuff so we i made the excuse of you know just not meal planning and just buying takeout getting food out of convenience and stuff we did work it in the budget but i think we probably could have saved that money instead so a lot of our expenses too last year was out of convenience which just i don't want to be doing that this year because i really want to try to save as much as we can this year and yeah so so far i haven't updated any of this this was easy i can just you know copy and paste all of this and then with the bills this is where i kind of had to take a look at the dates up here so these are our paycheck dates and so when i'm mapping this out i just I'm mindful of the dates on here and I just was taking a look at our calendar and seeing um, what bills fall under certain paychecks. The things on here that will eventually get deleted is this right here. So from the last paycheck. So I have on here, is it this one? Yeah. So this row over here for the next budget is just kind of like a placeholder. Um, and then I will go ahead and delete it because our starting balance will be that um, instead so let's say for example let's take january so january says for the next budget 537 i will go ahead and delete that and put the actual amount that's going to be carried over over here so let's actually take a look at that so in the first paycheck budget we had an actual starting amount of 665 and 20 cents and part of that was cash so that's what I would put over here. So 665 and 20 cents. And then that just gets added on to the amount that could be budgeted and or saved. And that's, I don't get that amount until I close out the first paycheck budget. And I will take the actual amount that's in our checking account that's going to be rolled over to the second paycheck budget. I hope that makes sense. I do talk a lot about that in my budgets um, because a lot of times we are rolling money over to the next to make sure that that's accounted for and that that money does what it needs to whether that's to pay a bill or to save money there are a couple of months on here i see a lot of negatives which i'm not too worried it's one dollar and i'm sure we'll have money to carry over as you guys can see there's certain months or certain paycheck budgets where this one says zero 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 and that's usually because we're heavier on the bills during this time it's usually when rent is due um, I do have June and I also believe December highlighted. These are our three paycheck budget months. So here in June, it looks like we're only going to be able to save this much. Hopefully my husband gets paid overtime. I don't know why I have this amount on here. Oh, so the reason why that's a lot is because of like the, from the last paycheck. So um, June doesn't look like we're going to be able to save a lot of money. I think it's because I have annual things due. Maybe that's why. And I kind of increased our budget. I think that's why. I don't know. We're going to have to take this month by month also. Making sure that I budget ahead or prep our budget ahead also. Speaking of prep. Oops. What I mean by that is. So for certain months. I do know that our variable spending stays the same. Or not spending but the categories so I kind of copied and pasted our budget categories here in the spending recaps and then in the variable section what I should have done also which I probably will do after this video is to go ahead and copy and paste our savings because those categories don't change if I do need to add it add anything in I can just add a row there are certain savings categories that I did condense I think it's just one or two which I will share in another video in a savings video but yeah so all of my prepping pretty much is all of the all copy and pasting all the categories so I don't have to do that later I know it doesn't seem like much but every little prep just saves me time then that's what I'm trying to do is just really try to save me time which is why I love budgeting in my spreadsheet I know I do the the notebook budgeting as well and that is just I feel like a lot messier but also at the same time it just feels nice to write to be able to write things down but doing it on spreadsheets does save me a lot of time for the three paycheck budget months this is how it looks and this doesn't necessarily mean that we get paid. Sometimes we do get paid three paychecks in the same month, but the dates don't 
it's not it's not the same as if you were budgeting for the entire month from um, day one to 30 it has random dates so there's certain times where it's gonna look like we paid for rent twice but just because of the timing of things the um, the dates that's that's pretty much why so I already know that it just makes sense for us to do it this way so and it's been working I've been doing it this way since like 2018 2019 spreadsheets I didn't really start doing until 2021 because I created the um, an online spreadsheet to be able to share with my clients and it just kind of evolved into this whole this whole thing where now I'm selling my spreadsheets online. So I think that's it that I wanted to share. I was going to share my budget overview because there's a couple of changes with certain things, but I think I can make a whole another video with that and maybe tie that into with my savings. Oh, and also here at the very end, I did take or I did um, make a note of how much my husband's take home pay was for last year and kind of just took an average of how much he would get paid this year that's how i came up with the thirteen thousand. because here at the end it says that we could potentially save ten thousand um, dollars but with his overtime and the average amount that he was getting paid last year we think we he can we can potentially save thirteen thousand, and that's hoping that nothing comes up if you caught my live if you were here on wednesday morning with me or if you caught the replay of it i did go back into debt I know it sucks long story short it was for my business i thought i was making wise choices uh, i got an offer from my card that it was zero percent up until december and i think i made the purchase in or i made the purchases in june i think is when i did it either june or march i don't remember somewhere around there and i thought i would have it all paid off by December because that's when it was due interest was going to start accruing as of January this year which we did get hit with interest already because I didn't pay off the balance I did that was part of the unwise money decisions that I made last year within my business just because I had high hopes for certain softwares that I thought was going to help me and as it turns out I was doing just fine with the things that I already had there are certain investments that I made in my business last year that I regret and there is only a few that I made that I don't regret if you want to know what I'm talking about you can watch my uh, my live stream that I did yesterday uh, if you want to know more about that but yeah so we're back in debt the goal is to try to pay it off hopefully in three months we can pay it off maybe when we get our tax refund that's what we can use to pay it off but we also want to make sure we contribute to our retirement savings as well parts of me wants to pay it off because I don't like the idea of paying interest and I believe it was like $27 that we got charged. So the sooner we paid off, the less we'll get charged that interest, right? So um, yeah, so anyways, that's kind of where we're at. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially for watching till the end and especially for coming back to my channel, especially if you have been watching me from the beginning. Thank you all so much and I will talk to you in my next video. Have a good one guys, bye.